New today, the just released exclusive WRL News poll shows Kamala Harris with a slight lead over Donald Trump in North Carolina. Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Gerald Owens. And I'm Deborah Morgan. Our exclusive WRL News poll shows Vice President Harris up three points over the former president. Capitol Bureau Chief Laura Leslie is here now with how the race has changed just over the last few months. Laura. Deborah, just six months ago, our WRL News poll showed Trump with a five point lead over Biden. Now, with Harris replacing Biden at the top of the ticket, the lead has switched too. The Survey USA poll shows us where Harris is making up that ground. Our latest WRL News poll shows Harris leading Trump in North Carolina 49 to 46, with 5 percent undecided. Less than 1 percent said they'll vote for a third party candidate. Compare that to March. Former President Donald Trump was leading incumbent Democratic President Joe Biden by five points, 50 to 45, with 5 percent undecided. That is a swing of eight points in the past six months. But Survey USA pollster Ken Alper says that's not too surprising for a swing state like this one. I'm sure we're going to hear some people saying, there, you know, there's no way that Harris is up three points in North Carolina. And again, it's a snapshot in time. Uh, you know, she may not be three points up after Tuesday. She may be up six. She might be down three. Alper says some of Harris's gain has come from voters who didn't want to vote for either Trump or Biden and are relieved to have a different option. Harris has also made big gains among women, especially suburban women, a group that has swung elections here in the past. In our poll, suburban men favored Trump over Harris by two points, 47 to 45. But suburban women favored Harris by 14 points, 54 to 40 for Trump. Alper says the poll also shows younger voters are also breaking for Harris. I think that the Kamala Harris campaign has really done something kind of amazing on social media, kind of, you know, going from zero to, to 60 in no time at all, and have really energized, you know, that that relatively small but important group of voters. Among voters 18 to 24, 72 percent back Harris compared to 24 percent supporting Trump. In the next age bracket, voters 25 to 34, Trump leads by 7 percent, 49 to 42. Whoever they're supporting, voters say they're happier with their options now. In March, a majority of voters in our WRIL News poll said they wished they had other options. Six months later, voters are satisfied with their choices by a nearly two to one margin. Now, our WRAL News poll surveyed 676 likely voters across the state last week. It was conducted by SurveyUSA and has a credibility interval of 4.9%.